Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, starring the entire Nelson family, Ozzie, Harriet, David, and Ricky. Here is Ozzie, who plays the part of Ozzie Nelson. And, of course, his lovely wife, Harriet, as Harriet Nelson. The older of the Nelson boys, David, appears as David Nelson. And his younger brother, Ricky, played by Ricky Nelson. Look, the next time you invite a couple of girls to a dance, let's not have them come from 60 miles away. Stop complaining and finish packing. Hey, how are the beds down to the return? Not bad. Why? I just want to make sure I get a good night's sleep. Are you kidding? I've seen you get a good night's sleep sitting in class. <laughs> you almost know that, fellas? Yeah, almost. You know Mrs. Mom? Sure I am. But I must admit it's going to be fun to have a couple of daughters around for a change. Yeah, make you appreciate us more. Oh, I don't know. I'll take those. Are well, you guys leaving so soon? Yeah, but I think I should warn you, Pop. This is only temporary. We'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope so, eventually. They're just going down to the bus station to meet the girls. We'll see you a little later. Okay, Pop. Bye. Bye. You know, it's going to be kind of an interesting experience. It would give us a chance to see what it would be like if we had a couple of teenage daughters. Would you like that? Well, it's kind of nice for a father. At that age, your girl thinks her dad is just about the greatest guy in the world. Of course, it would be a little crowded around here. Two boys, two girls. Well, not only that, but girls are quite a responsibility. Oh, I don't think fathers of girls worry about them any more than fathers of boys. Well, I don't think it's a question of worrying exactly, but girls certainly require a different kind of an approach. Oh, in what way? Well, for instance, you never went down to the florist and bought flowers for the boys' room, did you? Well, no, of course not. Well, that's what I mean. Don't you think it'd be nice if you went down and bought some for the girls? Well, yeah, I guess so. That's a good-looking tie. Looks very nice on you. Oh, thank you. It ought to. It's mine. <laughs> I think the girls will like these. I know my daughter likes roses. Yeah, I think most girls do. Well, how do you like the idea of having a couple of girls on your hands? Oh, I think I'm going to like it fine. Teenage girls around the house are a lot of fun. That's because you have two sons. If you had a couple of daughters to bring up, I think you'd feel a little different about it. Oh, come on now. Girls are no harder to bring up than boys. Well, yes, they are. For instance, the fellas your daughter goes out with. No matter how nice he is, you find yourself worrying. Is he really a nice boy? Is he a good driver? Does he have enough money with him in case of an emergency? What time will he get your daughter home? Yeah, I see what you mean. Oh, hi, Mr. Nelson. Oh, hi there, Wally. You know Mr. Phillips, don't you? Oh, sure. I'm taking his daughter to the dance tonight. Oh, well, you have nothing to worry about. Wally's a fine boy. Oh, I know he is. Well, thank you, Mr. Nelson. Here, have a cigar. <laughs> well, not that one. That one explodes. <laughs> I came in to buy a corsage for your daughter to wear tonight. Well, that's very thoughtful. How much do you plan to spend? Oh, about a dollar and a half. I thought an orchid would be nice. <laughs> well, it would be, but they're a little more expensive. Oh. Well, I thought since it's for your daughter... Well, why don't you come back around five? I'll see what I can do. Oh, gee, thanks. Don't grow anything special for me. I'll see you later. <laughs> okay, Wally. <laughs> you see why I worry? Oh, well, you don't have to. Wally's a real nice boy. Oh, I suppose so. Do you think he needed a haircut? Well, I, I really didn't notice. I always do. Seems to indicate something about a boy's character. You know, I'm surprised the fathers of those girls who were visiting you allowed them to make the trip. Well, uh, one of them was a little concerned, but Mrs. Nelson talked to him on the phone and assured him we'd keep an eye on the girls. <laughs> Guess that makes you kind of a father by proxy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll charge those for you. Well, uh, thank you very much. Good luck, Dad. <laughs> Brown. Yeah, well, I, I brought some flowers for you. Oh, wasn't that nice? They're just beautiful. Here, I'll put oh. them in water. Oh, thank you. Uh, where are David and Ricky? They went back to the fraternity house. They were having trouble with David's car. It kept stalling. Oh, well, I'm sure they'll take care of it. It sounded like the carburetor. It... I think the mixture's too lame. Oh, well, <laughs> the boys are, are pretty good mechanics. I'm sure they can take care of it. Well, just uh, make yourselves at home. If there's anything you want, just uh, let us know. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Nelson. Thank, thank you. Nice meeting you. Thank you. Sure seems strange to hear girls giggling in this house. Sounds nice. 
Yeah, there are a couple of nice kids. They certainly are. Oh, Mrs. Nelson, I didn't mean for you to press my dress. Oh, I wanted to. It isn't often I got a chance to help two girls dress for a date. Well, I'm usually the one that's helping the boys get ready to go out. There's usually a steady stream of traffic through that door. The boys come in to borrow my shirts, my ties, and cufflinks. <laughs> Could I borrow some bobby pins? Oh, now let's see. Uh, I think she's asking me. Oh! <laughs> Uh, Mrs. Nelson's department. Mr. Nelson, do you think I have too much lipstick on? Oh, I, I, it looks very nice to me. I always ask my dad before going out. Dad usually tells me without my asking. He's <laughs> <laughs> getting of course. Uh, while we're getting opinions, do you like my hair this way? Or do you think I should wear it up for the dance? Oh, gee, I don't know. It, 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 either way, it looks very nice to me. Here are the body pins, John. Oh. And here's your dress, Linda. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, uh, what's that? Oh, what, oh, what's that? Uh, what, what time are the... Uh, what time are the boys uh, coming to pick you up? At seven. Oh, well, uh, I hate to hurry you, but it, it's almost that time. Oh, we'll get ready now. That no, wasn't necessary. What do you mean? To hurry the girls. You're beginning to sound like a father. Well, I am a father. I mean a father of girls. Oh, don't be so. Harriet? Uh, do you think Joan did have too much lipstick on? Oh, well, don't worry about it. It'll come off. <laughs> now, just a second. Uh, uh, what do you mean by that? Well, when she eats dinner, it's bound to come off. Oh. <laughs> what did you think I meant? <laughs> Could you give me a hand? This zipper seems to be stuck. Oh, well, maybe Mrs. Nelson, uh, Harriet. Maybe it doesn't seem to come open. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> oh uh, Harriet, are, are the girls ready yet? Oh, sure. They've been ready for about 15 minutes. Well, I wonder where David and Ricky are. It's 10 after 7. Well, don't worry about them. They'll be here. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. Boys, you're late. No, it's only 10 after 7. Well, you're supposed to be here at 7 o'clock. Are you usually as late as this when you go to pick up your dates? Oh, no, but we had trouble getting the car started. Oh. Can we come in? <laughs> Girls ready yet? Yeah. I've been ready for about 15 minutes. Uh, Harriet, the, the boys are here. The girls will be down in about five minutes. <laughs> five minutes? They're not ready yet. But, but you told me they were ready. Never mind what I told you. They're not ready yet. <laughs> Come on and make yourselves at home, fellas. It's a pretty nice night. Yeah. What time does the dance start? About 8.30. About 8.30. <laughs> you fellas going right to the dance? Well, we're going to have dinner first, of course. Oh, oh, y yes, yes, of course. The Mountain View Lodge. Oh, oh yes. It has a, a nice atmosphere. Good food, too. Yeah, oh, uh, very good food. In fact, Mrs. Nelson and I, were, uh, that is, uh, <laughs> my mother and I were, were there a couple of weeks ago. The, uh... Dance will be over about uh, 12 or 12.30, I imagine. I think about 1 o'clock. One, well, yeah. We'll probably be home shortly after that. Well, not right away. We'll probably drive out someplace and get something to eat. <laughs> you just ate? Well, no, the dance is in between. Oh. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, I, I imagine you'll have the girls home by about uh, 2. Well, it'll probably be later than that. Oh? <laughs> I don't like the, the sound unreasonable. Hi. You all set? Yeah. Let's go. Well, have a nice time. Thanks, Mr. Nelson. Good night, Mrs. Nelson, and thanks a lot. Good night, girls. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Don't worry about the girls. Oh, we'll uh, drive carefully, Dave. Oh, I will. Night, Mom. Good night, dear. Uh, good night, Mr. Nelson. It was nice meeting you. Oh. <laughs> what was that all about? Oh, Dave's just kidding. Hey, uh, uh, Dave. Yeah. Didn't you get corsages for the girls? Well, yeah, they're out in the car. It's more fun pinning them on out there. <laughs> One of the girls left her stole here. Oh, she probably didn't want to wear it tonight. Are you sure? It's kind of cold out. Don't worry, dear. I'm worried? Uh, Harriet, uh, do you think Ricky needed a haircut? 
Well, no, not especially. I, I guess not. You know, Ricky and Joan make an awfully cute couple. Well, now, now Harriet, uh, Joan is too young to get married. Well, who said anything about marriage? Besides, Ricky's too young to get married, too. <laughs> well, of course he is. Well, then what are you getting excited about? Well, I'm not getting excited. Yeah, I hope they don't keep the girls out too late. Oh, they'll probably get home before we do. Well, we're not going out, are we? I thought we'd go to a movie later. Oh, well, gee, Harry, do you think we should? Why not? Well, I mean, s suppose the girls... Oh, they'll be all right. Oh, <laughs> but I, I gave them some mad money anyway. You gave them what? I gave them each five dollars. You know, just in case of an emergency, the, you, you never know. Do you realize they're out with our sons? <laughs> sure, but after all, they're our daughters. Sit down and relax, Dad. You've got a big family to worry about tonight. <laughs>